Well, everyone, in today's video, I've got something exciting which I've been waiting for for the past uh, month or so. So, um, if you guys know anything about model railroading, it's that you, you shouldn't buy anything off of AliExpress. Now, if you don't know what AliExpress is, it's this super sketchy Chinese version of eBay. So, I was quite shocked when I saw this here. It was a lot for one HO scale well car. Now get this. You pay what you get for one, like like a regular like Walther's one or Rapido one. So you pay that normal price, but this one you pay that same price, but get a container with it, which which I th I thought was a pretty good deal. Because containers are quite expensive. So they come in these cardboard boxes here. And it also includes the containers nice. that are wrapped up here. So I ordered four of them for the intermodal section of my layout. So I'm gonna check these out. Boom! And there it is. Now it's nicely wrapped inside this block of foam. So I'm just gonna cut through it. This can go back in. Oh my gosh, they taped it again. Are you kidding me? Well, I guess it's for the protection of it. And there it is. Now, this thing is actually quite, quite detailed, if you look at it. So, right here you've got TTX logo. Pretty crisp, actually. All the lettering is pretty good. I can see all of them. The walkways here is really nice. It's not see-through, like it should be. Very minimal details here on this side. And this side, that's to be expected. And then you've got the brake wheel here, all the ladder detail. This one's actually really good. Metal wheels, metal coupler, which seems to be jammed. All right, there we go. Uh, I think you just had to pry it open. Let me test it with this hopper here. Yeah, fits pretty well. And this side is already unlocked, which is good. So here's the Hapagloid container that I got with it. Looks like a Walter Scene Master one. And this is actually a really good deal. When I got this, it was actually $10 off, so $39 for both of these. Now that's a pretty good deal, if you ask me. And fits in really well. Now, I'm actually a pretty big fan of these intermodal well cars. The um, the ones that are curved, like the one that I have downstairs. Those ones are alright, but I actually prefer these boxy ones a bit more. I think it just looks a bit nicer. So, that's one of them. And the second one. Exact same thing. Take that off. I'll just rip it. And I just wanted to make it clear that should you buy them, they are plastic bodies. And take a look at this. They actually give you variety. So I believe this is the older TTX logo. And this is a new one. I'm not sure about that. But they've got two different logos. That's pretty awesome. And then the back, same thing. All the letters crisp and clear. I can see it really well. And then there's actually an option to get one with two 20-foot containers. 
So I've got this K-line here. And this Hanjin. Now these things are actually really good quality. And there's the four holes here to fit the container. Put that in. Put that in. And look at that. That's pretty cool. And the trucks turn quite well. All the couplers are nice. They're metal couplers too, which is amazing. Pretty surprising that they're stocking these things with metal couplers. And then if you want, you can do a double stack like this. Just make sure all the pins are in like that. And you got yourself a double stack in Termodal. But I'm only running single stacks. For now. Here's the third one. Now that package these things really well. Here's the third one. And these are actually what just came off? Something just broke off. Uh, the ladder here came off. Right here in this corner. <sighs> well, anyways. They all have different designs on them. You can see this one here. It's got the red logo. This one's got the big black patched one. And the one up here has nothing, really. So, that's, that, that's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice feature. I, I, I like it. And then I've got this container here. China shipping. On camera, it looks really like dark blue, but it's a lighter green. And this is amazing. If you're wondering what this is, It's a block of weights. So these things are really light. So they included these metal weights to put them in the container. I, I think that's genius. So I'm now gonna apply the weights on. So you can just pry up here, pry these up, take the shell off. And then they included these little sticky things. And I think they recommended to put one and two in each. That's what there should be ten because I actually no there should be eight because I ordered four of them. All right, so after struggling with it a bit, I finally got them all. And then I'm just going to apply this in here, like that, and then I'll apply a second one on. And there we go. Put it back in. Oh. Put it back in. <laughs> These don't click in, so it will fall off. And then put it in. And we have the last one right here. Instead of cutting through the tape, I'm just going to cut straight through the star foam here. Hopefully not damaging anything. And then just give it a rip.
No, I was a little worried, but, uh, thank goodness. This one has the TTX logo again. And this one's my favorite one, actually. It's got the little double arrows there. And all the lettering is super clear. Easy to see. And I can see them, even the smallest ones, I can, I can see really well. So, the container I got with this. My favorite container to match my favorite well car, the Ocean Network Express container. I really like this pink color. I think it pops out really well. So I'm just going to open this up again. Did they glue this one in? Because I can't open it. Oh, oh, there we go. Got it. There we go, it's a bit better. I think this actually have a good amount of weight to it now. So I'm gonna take these over to the tracks and see how nice they are. So would you believe it or not, right away the first thing that happens when I put these containers on the track, you can see right there that the coupler spring already came out. There's a little copper thing right there. The coupler spring already came out. Now that's probably because these couplers are really cheap quality. When I got them, I couldn't even open them. So, the rolling capability isn't that great. See, look, it just derailed right there. I'm not sure why, but it just derailed. And the back derailed as well. So right off the bat, this is not going good for these intermodal cars here. And if you're wondering why this container here, this well car here is bigger, it's because that is my 48 foot one. It's got a bigger container in it. These ones are 40 feet ones. As you can see, they don't roll very well. They look pretty nice, but they don't roll that well. But it's fine because I won't be rolling these too much because there will be, they'll spend most of their life in the intermodal yard, which I have in the basement layout. So, let's take a look at detail, shall we? So right here, you've got your ladder. It's a... I believe it's a separately applied detail, which is good. You've got your walkways here. You've got a grab iron right here, separately applied detail, which is... You've got all the lettering here, pretty accurate, got the 40 foot TTX logo, some specifications about it, and then coming over to this side, you've got the brake hose, some more ladders, and some stuff that are underneath the walkway, which are the brake hoses and stuff. So same thing applies to all of these here. And if we look over at this one now, my 48 foot one, big GTX logo, very nice and clear. 48 foot logo here. All these letters are really easy to read, not on camera. A good metal coupler here. This thing, if you want to apply a truck on it, correct sized metal wheels, correct coupler height. All your brake details here, whereas this one here does not have the correct coupler height and the couplers are really bad quality. The spring already popped out of this one with me trying to get it open. And these hoses down here are way too long. You can see how this one is much higher than this one and this can cause problems when it goes over a switch so I'll probably have to clip them. And this thing here just derailed from me moving it. See the wheel set right there, Boy! right off the track. So overall, I give these cars a 7 out of 10. The detail is pretty good on it. 
The containers are really nice. They are Walther Scene Master ones. I've got this American President line one here by Walther's. And it will look pretty good on a double stack. Exact same size and they look the exact same. You can see the backs of them, they look pretty nice. These rails here are separately applied details, same for this one. And all the lettering and stuff are really easy and clear to read. So, with that, that concludes the video. Thank you guys for watching. And one more thing before you go. If you want to get these, the sale is over already. I purchased them like last month. I will include a link to them in the description if you want to buy these. But yeah, with that, bye.